With the way that uh, the rules have been described today, I can't help but think about advertisements that we see on TV, car commercials. What do we hear in car commercials? We hear this new model year has been completely redesigned, re rebuilt, re-engineered, reimagined from the ground up. And then they show you the car, and it looks exactly like it did last year, and exactly like it did the year before that, and the year before that. But it's a great tagline. It's a great tagline. We hear today that these rules are the product of a grassroots effort, working groups that were assembled and put together to bring in perspectives and input from all different uh, aspects of the Democratic Caucus. These rules are 141 pages. The changes can fit on one page. Did these working groups completely reimagine it only to come up with word for word identical rules to what we've had in previous General Assemblies? Even more so, what we're hearing today is that these rules are inspired by the Republican majority rules from the 90s. I wish I would have been around to speak up against those rules at the time. I was in kindergarten or whatever. I would have said at the time, be careful what kind of rules you're putting forward because they're exactly what Democratic caucus working groups are going to imagine 25 years from now. Is this really the product of grassroots efforts, of working groups, of people coming up with house rules from scratch? Or is this 99.5% the same rules that we've been uh, operating this chamber under for the last 40 years? But I want to appeal not just in the weeds of the technical nature of the house rules and exactly how procedure will operate here, but instead appeal to something far more fundamental to our system of government, the Illinois Constitution. Article 4 of the Constitution creates the General Assembly. It creates a House of Representatives and the Senate, and it gives us powers, and it gives us restrictions and limitations. It is a fundamental document by which we operate. The Constitution requires that bills are read on three different days. It's not hard to imagine what the writers of the Constitution were envisioning when they required that a bill be read on three separate days. That a bill be introduced, made available to the public, and made available to the members who are going to vote on it. The Constitution also requires that committee meetings of the House have reasonable public notice of the committee's uh, time and scheduled time to meet, as well as a statement of items to be considered at those meetings. Again, it's not hard to understand why the writers of the Constitution would have said, if a citizen of Illinois, if a member of the legislature wants to be informed and prepared and well aware and ready to engage in the process of lawmaking, they need to know the basics, when, where, what, how can I participate? These things are fundamental requirements in the Constitution. The House rules that we create should support and defend those constitutional rights. The Constitution doesn't have any special provisions that say, when convenient. It doesn't have a special clarification that says, these rules shall be in place so long as it doesn't make it more difficult for a majority party to enact legislation. This is not about the majority party or the minority party. This is about protecting and defending the rights of the people of Illinois, the people who are represented here in the General Assembly. The House rules, as they're offered today, again, supposedly the product of grassroots, communications and conversations, but 99.5% exactly the same word-for-word -word text that prior General Assemblies have operated under. And those rules still allow for not a protection of constitutional right, but a circumvention of constitutional right. A circumvention that's designed to say a bill will technically satisfy the requirement of being read on three days, because the bill will literally do nothing. The bill introduced and read on three days will do nothing. It will strike out the word the, and it will reinsert the word the. 
And then, in order to circumvent that constitutional requirement, a, an amendment will be offered to the bill. That amendment will be 700 pages long and could be voted on 10 minutes after it gets introduced. Does that in any way comply with what we think the Constitution, the authors of the Constitution had in mind? Does that in any way protect the interests of the people of the state of Illinois who are represented here in this body? Does that in any way respect the rights of any individual member of this chamber to be prepared, informed, and ready to make a, an important and consequential decision that's at the core of our service in the General Assembly? The House rules should support the Constitution. They should not circumvent it. And if we're really serious about a new day, a new day doesn't start by copying and pasting the rules from prior General Assemblies that have drawn the ire of members of both parties, members of the press, members of government watchdog groups, and the frustration of so many of the people that we represent. We have an opportunity for a new day. We have an opportunity for rules that empower. These rules are not it. Vote no.